Hi, welcome to another vlog. This morning, I'm up reasonably early, still before six in the morning, um, but nowhere near early enough for a sunrise. That's about five o'clock this morning. I wasn't up that early. Uh, and I've come over to Stag Meadows. I'm going to take a little walk around from here. Take a walk over up to the far end so you can get some shots of Windsor Castle from there. And then carry on around up uh, to Rangers Gate and across to the top of the long walk at Cover Horse. See what photos I can get from there. So I'm using the long lens trying to get some shots down towards the castle. Um, if the weather doesn't hold out, I'll uh, use the macro lens and see if I can maybe get some shots of some smaller things running about in the woodland up by Cover Horse. Okay. See you in a So as we arrived here at the first location I'm going to shoot from, uh, the museum was the castle behind me. There's a lovely walk up here, nice and early in the morning. The sun's looking really nice, nice tight sunny day. Birds are singing, a few joggers about in the, in the uh, stag meadows there, but apart from them I had to place myself. So, best to get set up then. I've set up here and I'm taking a few shots. It's a place I've shot from before um, and I've got some shots, some nice ones from here. But it's always good to revisit places that you've been before because the conditions change. Uh, even through the course of the seasons obviously with the autumn, winter etc. But also on a day to day basis the conditions change. It's, today's a nice bright sunny day, tomorrow might be a totally overcast day and you get everything in between. So, constantly changing. So, uh, a couple of tips for you when you're taking uh, any landscape shots like this. Obviously a tripod is pretty essential because it allows you to keep the camera nice and steady, even at nice slow shutter speeds. You don't get any uh, movement from your hands moving around your body moving. But also, I'm using a pretty uh, long lens here, so anytime you press the shutter button, there's a little bit of vibration through the whole system. So what I do is I use a remote shutter and what I do is once I've focused I then wait for three seconds to allow all any vibrations to calm down before actually firing off the shot. I 
another thing that I'll do to try and make sure I get a nice sharp focus is I'll switch to live view with the camera and I'll zoom in and I'll manually focus on that part that may I'll be nice and sharp. Another couple of things I'll try and do is um, particularly with this long lens I'm currently shooting at f8 so it's uh, not going to get everything in focus uh, when I'm taking the shot. It's going to be reasonably focused but even if I do the focus a third of the shot, the stuff in the far distance isn't going to be nice and sharp. So if I focused on the grass in the foreground for instance, and the castle in the background, it will be slightly blurry. Not particularly bad, but enough that I would notice it. So what I do is I take a few different shots. One I'll focus on the grasses in the foreground. Second I'll take another shot focused on the trees in the midground. And finally I'll take a shot focus on the castle and then what we'll do is I'll stack these two shots together to make one image. I can also do a bit of um, HDR crafting so the colours at the moment there's some really bright skies out there uh, although it's nice and blue. If I'm taking a shot and I'm exposing correctly from the castle and the grass and the, and the trees in the foreground and the sky is pretty much blown out. So what I'll take is two or three different shots at slightly different exposures. I'll just vary the shutter speed to uh, speed the camera up a little bit and get the exposure right for the sky. And then I'll blend these in as well so therefore the whole image looks reasonably good, I hope. So that's all I'll take from this place. I shall back up and head on up to Rangers Gate and over towards the long walk, the Copper Horse. But uh, first of all, what I'll do is I'll just show you a couple of images that I got this morning. I'll probably also show you some images that I've taken from here before because there's some nice ones there. I got a little distracted on my way to the Copper Horse. I've seen so many uh, birds flitting about that I thought I'd put my long lens on the camera, attach it onto the strap and just walk about with it and see what I could find. Uh, take some shots of some kestrels and some red kites but so far. I've come down and I found this lovely little spot down here. And there's some uh, geese on the this little pond, little willow. Beautiful little spot.
So I spent a bit longer than I expected down at that little pond taking some photos. There were some lovely little uh, shots of the uh, ducklings and goslings as they came up the water there. I think I also got one of a heron flying by. We'll see how that turns out. I'm still on my way to the copper arch at the top of the long walk. If you turn around here, I think, can you just see it in the background just about there? That's where I'm headed to. I shall be off there shortly. So, here we are arriving at the Copper Horse. This was built in 1831. It's a statue of King George III. I wasn't expecting to see that here though. I expect that's a beacon that's going to be lit up for the Queen's Jubilee. Well, anyway, here we are at the Copper Horse. Uh, a bit of a rear view with nobody here. Normally there's quite a few people come up here and sit for a while before heading back down the long walk. But this is what I came here for. The, uh, the great views down the long walk with the castle in the far distance. It's just over two and a half miles, this long walk. It's a shot off shot many times before. But it's, like I've said before, it's always worthwhile re-exploring the same shots again. So the battery's starting to run down on my phone that I'm recording all this on. Uh, it's probably run down the camera too. So I'll take all the shots of what I've got and stick them up here for you to have a look at. And then I'm going to walk back towards back towards uh, Stag Meadows and I'll see what I can do with taking some shots of the wildlife as in what I see around about there. You never know, I might get lucky. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you liked all these shots and I shall uh, see you all next week. Cheers.